Hello there once again, I'm Peter Vaughan and here's another chapter of The Name of the Day. The letter we're up to here is letter L. Now the letter L represents a straight back and a straight forward base. Very solid, very solid. This is the past of the letter L and this is a very open future to the letter L. It means that the letter L being the 12th letter of the alphabet, which is a three, says I can, from myself, from my individualism, work with full, small details to be very creative. The first time I ever noticed that, before I ever got into understanding the psychology of numbers, I had a cousin called Lorraine. And Lorraine was very good with her hands. And from that, she would be a seamstress. And, well, she was a seamstress. And she could sew like, wow. And this is as a, when I was young, and, and she wasn't that much older than me, but she certainly did make a profession out of it. So that's the L working. I also knew a young man once in a store of an electrical component company that I worked in. And he was um, a bit, I call him a bit goofy in the way that he was. But he had a bit of intelligence that it impressed me as a storeman, young. And when I got to talking to him one day, uh, he said he was a black belt. And, and uh, I can't remember what the martial art was, but he was a black belt. And I had respect for that because being in the, in the martial arts myself, I went, hmm, that's interesting. He must have something if he's disciplined enough to be in martial arts as a black belt. So one day he was uh, at his desk work desk and I went past and he was writing some stuff in script format. Beautiful, beautiful handwriting. And I said, are you born on the 12th or the 21st day of the month? He said, how the hell did you know that? 12 or 21? Three. Like my cousin, very skilled with their hands. And in martial arts, these are where a lot of your skill comes from. So you can start to identify people from parts of their name or their makeup from different things. So, with L, I've uh, written down here, I'm going to choose Lewis and Linda. Now, you can spell Linda with an I, have an E-R. I've got all sorts of ways that I've seen Linda spelt, but they sound the same. And here with Lewis, I'm going to put three Five, five, nine, and one. Three, nine, five, four, and one. Now you may know or be a Linda or a Lewis. So when I'm talking about you, I'm talking about your personality or the quality of your name. Three and 10 is 13, 14 and nine is 23. When I've learned to add up numbers, I'm looking for combinations that I can add up quickly in my mind rather than having to go through the process of one after the other. So here, for example, I go 4 and 1 is 5, plus 5 is 10, plus 3 is 13, and plus 9 is 22. Now, it's interesting just from memory, the name David and the name Linda spelt this way both sum down to the number 22. Now, although they have the same number and therefore the same qualities in many ways, they have got different ingredients because the letters are like ingredients when you're making a cake. So what does it mean then? Well, both of the L here at the beginning of their name means to be outspoken. Just like I've shown before the letters, it's outspoken. It's colourful, it's creative, it's getting out there. And gifted with the hands being a 21 3 or a tw oh, sorry, a 12 3 and a 12 3. 12 being the 11th letter of the alphabet. Now, a 2 3 5 for Lewis, this means detail, this means creative. So, whatever I have in stuff in front of me and all the bits and pieces, I can put it together. It'd be like a person who says, man, I enjoy jigsaw puzzles. Throw all the little bits down, all the little bits. Let me get my hands on it and start to put it together with the three, and they create the thing. Now, it means multitasking, because the five is a number which represents a lot of things in a lot of different areas. It's the one that's adaptable to change. 
but Lewis could probably be adaptable to change as something emotional is thrown at him in his life. When a person is in a mode of thinking and their environment is calm around them and all of a sudden they look out the window and they might see somebody having an accident or they might see uh, something break that's in their area that they're working on and it's collapsed, that upsets them quite a lot and can make them unstable and not know what to do. So they can be quite scattered in that respect. Linda, on the other hand, the number 22-4 here, they like in their relationships, just to give you an example, loyalty, honesty, uh, someone that they can trust. That's really, really important to them. And they will be chatty and colourful and bright based on the first letter of their name. And they will act very quickly when they have something that excites them or they want to do. I've talked before about the first letter of a name and the last letter of a name having significance into what the person's like. This one says the L, I want to be creative and I want to get on with it right now. This is when I mentioned before. The origin of the letter A in its capitalized form was the head of an ox with a yoke over its shoulder as a hieroglyph. And I got that from the Egyptian books of the dead, which I have studied. The Phoenicians and the Romans, as I've mentioned also before, but nothing like repetition, turned it around somewhat and eventually it was Romanized completely to the letter A like that, which represents a major change in the life or living conditions. Now I challenge you, if you like, if you know a Linda spelt this way, ask her at age 22, did she have a change in her life or her living conditions? And she'll probably say, yeah, how did you know that? That's all part of the science that I do when I'm teaching the subject. If you thought that Lewis and Linda were interesting, you know them, you are one, See how that fits and come on back and have a look at the other names and things that I'm doing here as well. So thanks for watching. Uh, click the like button if you were interested or subscribe if you haven't already. And as Peter says, everything is in a name. Hi, Peter here again. If you liked what you saw, I have a full personality profiling service, but not just from your first name, from your whole name and your date of birth. The report covers your hidden skills and talents, what motivates you, how others see you, and much, much more, even an in-depth forecast. Follow the link in the description below for more direction. And again, thanks for watching.